How you going guys? Welcome back to Tempest TV. Today we've got a follow-up video to one of my most recent videos that you guys really seem to enjoy. Things that make Thai people not crazy, I wouldn't say hate, but things that can just embarrass you a little bit and get you some weird looks. Today we're going over seven more things not to do in Thailand to make sure you're just fitting in and to make it a lot easier for you to make some Thai friends. All right, let's go. Jumping right into it, one of the things that I've had some Thai friends mention that really bums them out and makes them not crazy about some foreigners is not being willing to try Thai food, which I know sounds crazy to a lot of us, but there are a lot of people who come here and don't go to markets or anything like that. They just kind of go to Western restaurants or you know they eat just normal noodles and stuff like that. But if you're coming to Thailand, obviously try some Thai food. Get out there, try some things you wouldn't try at home, hit some night markets, eat a squid or two. It's not gonna kill you. People here eat it all the time, but make sure, especially if you're trying to make some real Thai friends and stuff, that you're not just going to the market and surviving off kebabs and french fries. Go eat some real food, stay away from the pad thai, even though it's good every once in a while, but get you some curry, eat some different stuff. Another one that I see happen quite a bit, and if you've never been to Thailand, it's okay to not understand this, but if you're doing your research, and if you're watching this videos, it seems that you're doing that, if you do your research, you'll know that Thailand is a very much cash society. So if you're going around, especially if you're going to just like stalls on the street, you're going to night markets and things like that, lots of places aren't gonna accept card. Even some like big box stores, grocery stores, places in the mall, sometimes they don't accept card. So just be ready for that and don't get upset when places don't accept card. This can actually be really awkward if you walk up to like a food stand, or, you know, a vendor, and they don't accept card. This can sometimes kind of irritate them because it seems like common sense that these places wouldn't accept card, but I have seen people get upset about it or, well, oh, man, I can't use Apple Pay everywhere. It's not a thing here. It's just part of the game. Carry cash and you'll be good to go. So obviously things have changed a big time since the big C word is essentially over here in Thailand, even though they kind of backpedaled on some stuff recently, but then they backpedaled on that too. But if you're doing a little bit of research, you know that the mask mandate is not a thing in Thailand anymore. But when you come here, you will see a lot of Thai people still wearing masks. And one thing I know Thai people can get a little unnerved by, especially if you're in like big public places, markets, the mall, movie theaters, uh, public transportation, things like that. You can really get some weird looks if you don't wear a mask. You'll still see a lot of the taxi drivers here, a lot of people still working in restaurants and things like that. Even if it's not your thing, it's really just a courteous thing. And if we're trying to fit in, if you're trying to come to Thailand and just immerse in the culture, you probably don't want to stand out too much. I know I don't. I like to just kind of squeeze in everywhere you go. So just carry one on you. If you see other people wearing them, it's just respectful to put one on yourself. Not saying that anybody's going to come up and light you up like they would in the States when it was a thing. If you walked into a place in the States when COVID was a big deal, people would tear your head off for not wearing a mask. But assuming you're coming here, you're probably already vaccinated and everything like that. But generally people still like to wear masks in places that are really crowded. So go ahead and just carry one with you. That way you're not getting any funny looks. So this one was a little strange for me when I first got here. It's something that I definitely do in the States and a lot of Westerners do in general. But if you're out in public, kind of just like sitting down anywhere, sitting on the curb, sitting on stairs, things like that can kind of get you funny looks from Thai people. It kind of just makes it seem like you're just kind of like being a bum. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's kind of strange. And especially if you're blocking traffic. So even though Thailand is generally laid back a lot about a lot of things, a lot of people are trying to get to places they got things to do. So if you're stopping to take pictures and stuff, which is no big deal, just make sure you're kind of out of the way. Don't stop right in the middle of the sidewalk to snap your photos. I saw on the news recently that a guy stopped his car in the middle of Sukhumvit Road to take pictures of things and like had traffic backed up. So just be courteous of other people and try not to like sit on stairs and like weird places like that. Another thing about it is the whole feet thing here in Thailand. We'll get into that a little bit more later in the video. But if you're sitting in places that people generally walk, you're definitely gonna get some funny looks and people can get genuinely irritated. So just make sure you find a real spot to sit down and that you're just out of the way when you do so. Before we continue, I just wanna take a quick second to thank all the new viewers and interaction we've gotten on the channel in the past month. Things are really starting to take off and we've gained a lot of new viewership. If you guys haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to see more from Thailand, go ahead, drop down, click that subscribe button so you get updated every single time I upload a new video, which is every single day. Don't worry, you don't get added to any weird like mailing lists or anything like that. You can unsubscribe at any time. When you do subscribe, that just lets YouTube know that you're 
you're interested in seeing my content. So it's more likely to recommend my videos next time you log on. That way you don't have to go looking for them. Kind of going hand in hand with the whole sitting thing that we talked about. And one huge one that I know Thai people really don't like and is a really good way to get into an altercation, which is crazy to think about because it's not really a thing here, is if you don't pay attention to where you put your feet. We've talked about in some other videos how Thai culture thinks of feet, they're gross, people don't like them, it's just a thing, it's part of the culture here. So not paying attention to where you put your feet. So if you're standing on stuff, climbing on chairs, you climb up on a bench or something to take a photo or whatever, you're sitting down, you're pulling up a chair to kick your feet up, don't do that. Like, I see it all the time. I've been guilty of it too. I try to be conscious. So of course, like crossing your legs when you sit or something like that is really not that big a deal, but don't climb or stand or put your dirty shoes on things where people are gonna put their stuff or where they're gonna sit themselves. It's just a really good way to get people to think you're not considerate and you haven't made any effort to learn about the culture, which is one thing that Thai people really aren't crazy about. So just pay attention to this. If somebody's either gonna set their stuff down there or they're possibly gonna sit there, don't put your feet on it, man. <laughs> a big one that we get very used to in the West is things being a lot more punctual. One thing in Thailand, we've talked about it before, is Thailand is definitely on island time. Everybody's just super laid back, so certain things do run on a very set schedule, but other things, try not to get upset if the restaurant, your favorite restaurant, it says they open at 10, you get there at 10, 15, they're not open yet. If you arrange to meet up with somebody, you know what I mean, to go out for drinks or dinner or something, and they're 15, 20 minutes late, try not to be upset by this. When it comes to like business things and stuff like that, ties are very punctual, but generally it's not that big of a deal to be 10 or 15 minutes late. Here we call it being on tie time. So if somebody has some plans with you, don't get too upset if they might not stick to that plan accordingly and they might get a little bit late. Me, I've always been the 15 minutes early type of guy, but that was instilled in me. It's very good to be punctual. And in the States, sometimes we can take it as disrespectful as somebody's wasting your time and things like that. Ties really don't think about it like that. So try not to get too worked up if you're, you know, your bus is 10 minutes late or you know, your taxi's taking a little while to pick you up. Nobody means anything by it here. Everything's just a little bit more laid back. So there's not really as much you know, strict policy on being punctual. Probably the first one that all my Thai friends mentioned when I asked them this question, like, hey, what do, what do foreigners do that bothers you? Is being loud or just kind of obnoxious, especially at like temples and places like that. When you walk in, if you just pay attention to the atmosphere, it's very quiet, it's very serene. So being in there and being with your friends and running around laughing, joking and stuff, it can seem harmless, but a lot of people take it to be super disrespectful. And this can also extend to like public transportation and things like that, pretty much anywhere where people People are forced to be around you. I know in the States we're all guilty of having full-blown conversations on our phone. People like to blast their music out loud. That's just generally not a very cordial thing to do in Thailand. They just like to not impose on other people so they feel like if you're just including everybody in your conversation, you're blasting music, things like that, you're just forcing everybody else to be involved with what you're doing, which Thais can take as being super disrespectful and this really has to go for like trains and places like that. Granted, not all ties are gonna take this as serious, but as a general rule, it's just a good idea to kind of keep your things private. If somebody does call you, just let them know you'll call back. And then the real obvious ones, movie theaters, places like that, like don't be on your phone. That's one that's pretty much worldwide, but I've definitely seen it happen here. Just try to keep your stuff private. Try not to be just be walking down the street, yelling on the phone, talking about whatever. And when you're out with your friends, just try to be cordial with everybody else around you. They might not wanna hear your conversation. It's just part of the game. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Tempest TV. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about what not to do when you come to Thailand, go ahead and check out this video right here. If you'd like to support the channel, all those links will be down in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day. Tell somebody you love them. We'll talk to you later.